So hello everyone. Uh, so today, today we are just dive into the conversation of uh, productivity. What productivity is and how you can set the table for the productivity and just eat your tasks uh, day by day. And by the way, eat the ugliest and big tasks first, because when you when, when you are just uh, doing things, uh, small tasks uh, with the passage of time, you will just procrastinate a little bit. I mean, not a little bit. You will procrastinate too much on your tasks as well. So today we will just dive into the book, the book of Brian Tracy, Eat That Frog. So the chapter is set the table. What 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 is mean by set the table? There is one quality which one must possess to win. And that is definiteness of purpose. The knowledge of what one wants and a, and a burning desire to achieve it. So it's actually a, a quote from the Napoleon Hill. I just picked from the book of Think and Grow Rich. He said that you have a definiteness, uh, definiteness of purpose on everything. You, when you achieve something, you just um, not just distracted from other tasks as well, but you focus on one task. And, and you have a burning belly of passion and purpose, right? So this is a quote that I really like it. Pick from the book on uh, Think and Rich, written by Napoleon Hell. But by, by the way, I really, really I highly recommend that book as well to people who are watching because these are these are the number these are the first book that I ever read in my whole life, right? When I just uh, built my reading habit. So this is the first book that I uh, you know uh, learned and just pick from the library and just learn a lot of things, right? It's really make a good impact on my life. So before you can deter determine your frog and get on with the job of eating it, you have to decide exactly what you want to achieve in each area of your life. When you have to, when, when you have to eat that frog, the mean is when you're just doing uh, big tasks in your life, the big frog, what are you? What what you have to do is first you have to de de determine or find those tasks or projects that you are working on. The big task, the big uh, projects, right? And then clarity is perhaps the most important concepts and uh, personal productivity. I mean, you must be clear on your goal and define that thing clearly to your purpose and those things as well, right? Because clarity is everything. You have to be a good uh, clarity in your mind that how and why you achieve that goal of that project, or how you have done that project, or why are you why why are you doing these things? So it's a good thing. So the number one reasons people uh, why some people get more work than faster, right, is because they are absolutely clear about their goals and objective. The mean is. There is a difference. There is a lot of difference between successful and unsuccessful people. But the but the common is, the successful people have a clarity in their mind how they achieve things. They have clear set uh, a lot of goals in their mind that they will achieve that or those goals in the upcoming weekend or upcoming whatever the the, the time period is. And the unsuccessful is the opposite of it. They don't have clarity. They just uh, procrastinate too much and uh, not focusing on the task in their hand, right? And they don't deviate from them, right? So uh, successful people are uh, clear about their goals and objectives, how they how they set their aims and how they achieve their goals as well. The greatest, the greater the clarity you have regarding what you want and the step you will have to take to achieve it. The step you will have to achieve it. I mean, you will have a lot of steps to just achieve those goals as well, right? So uh, that's the good thing. And the step you have to do, okay, and the easier it will be for you to overcome procrastination. They already uh, mentioned it, right? Eat your frog and complete the task before you. I mean, you have to complete your tasks as well before you have to eat the ugliest frog first, right? You have to eat the big project first that you should that, that you should not procrastinate on the small tasks that you're doing, right? So and, and, and by that you have to be planned for that, right? To have one task, which one task do you have to achieve it? It's dependable on the person and it just depends on the priority and the individual's perspective. But the thing, a major reasons for procrastinations and lack of motivation is vagueness, confusion, and fuzzy mindedness. Why people procrastinate? Why people procrastinate? The procrastination is a lot of 
bad thing and what is the indication of it that one person is uh, procrastinating they have no clarity in mind they have just fuzziness in their mind they 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 have just confusion they're just chaos in their mind they the first thing is they are not clear about the objective they are not clear about how and why they achieve those tasks so that's that that's why those people procrastinate uh, too much time before the task in their hand they just even they just even realize that procrastination is a bad thing for people it's that this is a bad thing procrastination right and the indication of it is uh, unclear in their mind fuzziness in their mind and confusion a lot of it so uh, what you are trying to do and what order what order and for what reasons i mean they have confusion uh, how how they set their priority how they uh, achieve those tasks and projects dependable you must avoid this common condition with all your strength by striving for ever greater clarity and your magical and tasks so the thing is when you just achieve and find your goal you must be clear and the benefit of clarity is you will not be procrastinate that's why when people are, that's why people are procrastinate they have no clarity in their mind they have fuzziness in their mind they are not even focused on these things right so number one thing is be clear on your mind be clear on your objective what you have achieved in the upcoming uh, time i mean whatever it is weeks days months years decade right so this is a good thing by the way and uh, yeah uh, here's the great rule for success Think on paper. What is mean by that? Think on paper. Step into. Only about three percent of the adult have clear written goals. Three percent of the adult have written goals, right? Three percent. That is a too much low ratio, and hundred percent, right? These people accomplish five and ten times as much as people as as much as people of equal or better education and ability, but who for whatever reasons have ever taken the times to write out exactly what they want and people who are just think on paper uh, only 3% of the adults do this and they achieve the tasks very fast and very clear in their mind that's why the clarity is the, the, the clarity in your mind is a good thing when, when, when you just write in the paper you can touch it you can feel it and that's why uh, people are just achieving things better and stronger with the passage of time so you must be uh, think on paper, write it, or, uh, write it down, write it down your goals or whatever, and what uh, and whatever it is you are going to achieve it, right? <clears throat> there is a powerful formula for setting and achieving goals that you can use for the rest of your life. What is the formula? It consists of seven simple steps. Seven simple steps, right? And what is and what it is? <clears throat> okay. Any one of these steps can uh, double and triple the productivity. It's depend on the uh, person's perspective. Double, triple, um, quarter, however it is. If you are not currently using it, right? So you are learning a lot of things and let's dive into. Many of my graduates have increased their incomes dramatically in a matter of a few years or even a few months. Wow. With this simple E7 part method. So the first what is the formula the seven steps formula the first is decide exactly what you want you must decide exactly what you want from the task that you are just elaborating it either decide for yourself or sit down with your boss to dis discuss your goals and objective until you are crystal clear about what is expected of you and what order of priority number first tip is you must be decide exactly what you want you can also discuss uh, discuss this um, number uh, first step with colleagues family work or whatever it is your family and colleagues friends whatever it is you discuss with them that what decide exactly what you want is the first step of the uh, seven step formula and the second step is uh, <clears throat> So I'll, I'll just explain the, the, the step first a little bit more, right? That you just clear in the thoughts along the wrong way. So it is amazing how many people are working away. 
uh, day after day and, and low value tasks because they have not had this critical discussion with their managers. I mean, I, I just mentioned that you can discuss with boss, uh, friends, colleagues, uh, family, whatever it is. One of the very worst use of time is to something uh, very well that need not to be done at all. This is a bad thing, by the way. Stephen Conway says, if the ladder is not leaning against the right wall, every step we take just gets us to the wrong place faster. When you when when you ladder are just not uh, lean onto the right wall, and every step that you take will just uh, move you faster to the wrong thing, to the wrong destination that you just. You know, because you're just you you your letter is not on the right wall. Lean and not on the lower, lean on not on the right wall. Step two, write it down. I mean think and paper, think and paper, write it down. What you're what 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 you are achieving it. Think on paper. When you write down a goal, you you crystallize it and you it I I I, I recently mentioned and give it a tangible form, which means that you can touch it, you can feel it. This is the tangible form. That's why think on paper is very important. Only 3% of the adult can do this. And the, and the people who do the, who just write the, 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 the goals in paper achieving 10 times better than the people who are not writing at all. You create something that you can touch and see, okay? On the other hand, a goal or objective that is not in writing and merely a wish or a fantasy. It's, when you are not just writing things, write it, when you when you are when you are not when you are just uh, not writing things right down on your hand, you are just fantasizing things. You are just daydreaming these things, which is the best thing, by the way, for tasks management and other people as well. It has no energy behind it. I, I mean, energy is more and really dependent and it's a really good thing i mean everything is form 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 and this universe is uh, just to depend on energy it that has specific tasks have a specific energy when you just write it down it's created a lot of, bit of energy in your mind in your subconscious mind and your and when you're just writing down you everything right and there's no energy behind it and unwritten goals lead to confusion vagueness and misdirection and numerous mistakes I mean, when you when you are, when you are do, when you are not when you are not writing things down, it will just uh, just you know uh, get get confused in your mind, right? The the third step is set a deadline on your goal. You must be set a deadline on that goal. Set sub deadlines if necessary. That is a good thing, by the way. You must be uh, make a deadline, and if possible, make a sub deadline as well. A goal or decision without a deadline has no urgency. You must be urgent, right? You can you create a sense of urgency, right? A goal or decision without a deadline has no urgency. It has no real beginning or end. Without uh, definite deadlines uh, accom uh, accompanied by the assignments or acceptance or specific responsibilities for completion, you will nurture procrastinate and give get very little done. I mean, you just, you must set a deadline for that, right? To achieving, to have, to, to achieve or hack that target as well. Number fourth step is make a list of everything you can think of that you are going to have to do to achieve your goal. I mean, make, make a list of those things, right? Uh, as you think of new activities, add them to your list, right? And keep building your lists until it is complete. A list gives you a visual uh, picture of the larger tasks or objective. I mean, uh, I mean, it's give you a whole picture. It gives you a complete picture of what you are thinking, right? Uh, right. Uh, a list gives you oh, okay. Uh, it gives you a track to run on. It gives you just a track to just run on that track and just achieve your goals and dramatically increase the likelihood or the likelihood that you will achieve your goal as you have defined it and on schedule. I mean you must be, you must be set a deadline for that for the task that you're achieving, right? 
The fifth step is step is organize the lists into a plane. The, it, the list and the, the list and uh, point four that you just list on everything in this in the step the in the step fifth you will organize the list into a plan. You must make a plan for those things, right? Organize every list by priority and sequences. Okay, that's a good thing. But you must be a prioritize things in, in, in a proper in, in a proper sequence or order. List all tasks in uh, in order uh, they need to be done. I mean, the order is must. The order and sequence is necessary thing, right? Take a few minutes to decide what you need to do first and what you can do later, right? Uh, decide what has to be done before something else and what need to be done afterward. You must prioritize things on a sequence, proper things, and what should be done now and what should be done later on. Test toss. When I complete this toss, I will do the other tasks after that, right? Uh, even better, uh, lay out your plans visually in the form of uh, in the form of a series of boxes and critiques on a sheet of paper. This is a good thing where they, when you just achieve things, make a make a small uh, chunks or a small piece of paper and just uh, decide those things on this paper. And when you just achieve uh, the dots, mold it down and throw it away, uh, or, or just make a list of it. And you when you just uh, do your tasks, just take a tick mark on it, right? Okay, a uh, sheet of paper with lines and arrows showing the relationship of each task to every other task. You must be connected everything to it, the, the, which means that when I just doing task first, uh, task second, task third, you must be, uh, you know, then after it, you must be just uh, find and yeah, indicate how these tasks are connected to each other, right? You will be amazed at how much easier it is to achieve a goal. You will break it down into individual tasks. I mean, that will be just how amazed you will be. You will, you will, you will be just feeling magic or miracle. But how, how, how this is a good, good thing to achieve these tasks as well, right? <clears throat> so, with the written goals and organized plan of action, you will be far more productive and efficient than people who are carrying their goals around their minds. Simple thing. Daydreaming. Just a fuzzy thing. The step six is take action on your plan immediately. You must be take action. I mean, take action, do do or the game changer, right? You must be a doer. You must be take action on the, those things that you list down on the thing. Do something, do anything. An average plan rigorously executed is far better than a brilliant plan on how uh, on which uh, nothing is done uh, for you to achieve any kind of success. Execution is everything. You must take action on those things. You must be a doer mentality, right? And the last step is step seven. Resolve to do something every single day that moves you towards your major goal. You must resolve things. You must eat the ugliest frog first. That just uh, motivate you and just encourage you to encourage you to do other 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 tasks as well. And the uh, you know. I mean, you, you, you build the activity into your daily schedule. Uh, you may decide to read a specific number of pages on a key subject. It's a good point, by the way. You may call on a specific number of prospectors or customers. I mean, if you are just a salesperson or some people, are just you know, you may engage in a specific period of physical exercise. Yes, good, good point, by the way. You may engage in a specific period of uh, physical execution. <clears throat> so, you may learn a certain number, uh, num a number of new words in a foreign language. Whatever it is, you must never miss a day. Your consistency is the best thing. You must do that, thing, right? Keep pushing forward. Once you start moving, keep moving. Don't stop. The, this decision, this dis discipline uh, alone can dramatically increase uh, your speed of goal accomplishment and boost your personal productivity so it's a good thing but it's all a four step thing that i'm going to run, that i'm going to run, that, that i'm going to repeat it right now the first step is decide exactly what you want the the two the second step is written written it down the third step is set a deadline 
on your goal. The fifth step, the fourth step is make a list of everything you can think of that you are going to have to do to achieve your goals. The fifth step is organize the list into a plan. And the sixth step is take action on your plan immediately. And the last and the final step is resolve to do something every single day that moves you towards your major goals. So yeah, thank you.